Okay, so in this video, we are going to talk about your booking settings. So once you have your appointments all set up and your calendar synced and all of that, the final thing you really want to make sure and go through and make sure all of your booking settings are set up the way you want. So on our dashboard here, we go down to settings and booking settings. So we already did our default hours. I talked to you about that in the calendar. You can also get to that here. And then this is kind of cool. So you can set up, you do have to upgrade, but um, obviously you want to get an email when you have someone that books a new appointment. You can set up text message session, session reminders to your clients once you upgrade your site. And then also there's some other um, text notifications that you can send as well. Same thing with email. You can um, send a confirmation email, which I definitely strongly recommend. You just need to upgrade that. Email reminders, cancellation emails as well. And then I kind of mentioned the automations. You can actually go through and set up other custom automations for your bookings, but these are your basic ones. So once you upgrade your site and you get those bookings set up, you want to definitely come in here and make sure that all of these are toggled. Go Back to your booking settings. So I talked about this a little bit, your booking form. So this is going to be your default booking form. So you can come through here and add any custom questions or messages or anything you need on that default form. And then um, as I showed you before, you can also customize a form based on the appointment as well, if that's something you need to do. This is probably the most important, is your booking policy. This, so this is gonna allow you to limit early bookings if you don't want um, people to book too far in advance. And this one's probably the most important is limit those late bookings. So if you don't want someone to be able to book 10 minutes before a session time, you definitely want to um, enter the information here. Maybe you don't want people to be able to book, you know, they have to book at least one day in advance. And then same thing with your cancellation and rescheduling. And you can put your cancellation policy in here. Uh, finally, you can have a wait list if, you're, if you do classes and those get booked. So that's kind of cool. Um, cart checkout, to be honest with you, this is really, really new. So I need to check that out myself. And if it's something I think would be of interest, I'll definitely do a video on it. Um, appointment time slot. So show how appointments show up either every 30 minutes, 25 minutes, 60 minutes, however you want, or you could have them based on that service duration. And then um, this is also super important if you do appointments that are on Zoom or you're working with people across the country, you definitely want to set this so that it is your client's local time. Again, if you offer services remotely to people outside of your area, and then you can either toggle um, to let clients choose between your time zone and theirs. So that is your booking settings. And definitely, again, you want to make sure that you go through there, especially that uh, those booking policies and that time zone, that's super important to make sure that's set up before you start taking any bookings.